he and Tom, the other producer, uh, were, were working on getting everyone hired for, for the film. And Tom came along the list and said, well, we need a wardrobe designer. And Emmett just looked at Tom and said, oh, no, no, I got that. And Tom was like, well, I got plenty of people here in Hollywood, you know. And Emmett says, nope, I got it taken care of. And Tom's like, well, who? And he says, oh, my buddy Ike up in Montana. We used to train horses together. And Tom's like, well, what the hell are his qualifications? And Emmett just looks right at Tom and says, well, he's gay. <laughs> do you feel that you personally also went, I mean, I know that Emmett and Robert and some people have gone on journeys. Do you feel like you also went on a journey in the making of this movie? Uh, without a doubt, without a doubt. It's uh, on a, on a personal level, not that it's particularly important. It's just helped, you know, when you, when you like you said, there's several parallels that I know now more having been through this script step by step and watching uh, us make this film and, and express, uh, well, I'm really impressed with Emmett's ability having not been through this, how accurately he did depict the struggles that are, that are involved with something like this. So, um, yeah, it was, a, uh, it was a big time journey. I mean, not to mention, you know, everything I gave up, you know, I quit two jobs. I had to, actually I had three jobs at the time and I quit every one of them to come down and not get paid and sleep on a concrete floor and a half-filled air mattress uh, for, you know, five weeks while we shot. So it was uh, definitely a journey.